Uh, greetings, Seventh Baptist World Federation leaders, members all. I am Pastor Ronald Blissett, President of the Jamaica Seventh Baptist Conference, uh, and we are happy today for this privilege to join you in sharing some information about the operation for our conference. I am trusting that this information will be of some value to you as you learn a little bit more about our operation here in Jamaica, West Indies. Our conference uh, consists of, uh, currently consists of 34 churches, uh, seven groups, and uh, we have a total number of uh, 21 serving pastors, eight uh, missionary workers in the field, and uh, we have a total of approximately 1,400 members um, in our churches. We are currently seeking to expand this number, or rather inc increase this number, by a number of initiatives which we are taking on in uh, church outreach. In terms of our auxiliaries, we currently have uh, three auxiliaries. We have the men's fraternity, the women's board, and the, our National Young People's League, um, all three of which have been very involved in creating uh, programs and initiatives that engage the public audience uh, and also allow for much participation uh, by the public. We also have an evangelism committee that is very actively involved in uh, leading in outreach initiatives. And uh, we have seen where we have gained uh, uh, great uh, responses from the German public. And we have also launched uh, a number of church planting um, programs which we have been seeing results, which we are truly very grateful for. Uh, in respect to uh, church uh, schools, or conference schools, we currently uh, do not have uh, a school that's immediately operated by the conference um, itself, but we have two schools, two church schools, um, that are being operated by churches within the conference. Uh, in terms of other outreach, um, we have a number of churches that have been involved in uh, operating church kit uh, soup kitchens and uh, who have been very involved in providing hot meals for persons within the communities who would be among the needy. And uh, in, at which point they also provide a lot of uh, spiritual support and use as a means for uh, evangelism outreach. In respect to areas where we have seen the blessings of the Lord, uh, we can uh, declare that we have so far seen the, uh, the, this uh, favor from God in the area of church planting, where we have been, prog we have been progressively seeing uh, the, uh, the, 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 a number of our uh, groups that are being improved. Uh, through this initiative, and of course, uh, looking forward that uh, within a short, short time, uh, two or three more of our groups will be uh, given church status um, to increase the number of churches which we uh, do have in our conference. Uh, in respect to areas of uh, greatest need for our conference, uh, we currently uh, see the need for improvement in the Jamaica Bible Institute, one of our leading uh, institutes here in Jamaica, where we train our pastors. Uh, we are thinking that uh, we need, of course, to improve uh, the, the variety of appealing programs which we do offer to build the capacity of our pastors and, lay, and the lay leadership of our churches. Um, we uh, have seen where there have been somewhat of decline in this area, and we think that it's crucial that we seek to improve this as uh, quickly as is possible. Uh, we, of course, need some uh, funding and to be able to assist in improving the curriculum 
uh, the, and the, the, the programs that have been offered by the institution. And of course, also to assist in the, uh, the staff emoluments and resources. We also have a need for upgrading our conference center and campsite. We have seen where there is, or rather there are a number of areas that we can improve so as to ensure that this entity can be a greater income earning uh, one that can earn the conference uh, some resources, uh, some, uh, some funding so we can assist in other areas of the conference. We also uh, have the need for acquisition of a property for all the administrative of the office of the conference. We see this as an urgent uh, need. Uh, of course, as we approach our one hundred year, uh, we were, it was our dream that we would have been able to uh, get on with this um, program uh, and we would have been able to acquire uh, this uh, property and to set it up so we can reflect uh, the somewhat of a pride of our, our office, but that's still a work in progress. We have uh, seen also the need to uh, improve this, the statistical data that has been collected uh, from our churches uh, in order to monitor the growth within our church and conference. And so that is an area that we are currently working to improve so we can provide um, more information uh, with greater efficiency and uh, can properly monitor the improvement in this area. Uh, I must mention too that uh, in respect to uh, the, the pastoral fraternity uh, institute, we are seeking to uh, really institute this, uh, this new arm of the past pastoral team. Uh, they, it's the intention that this, uh, the pastoral fraternity will gain a status of um, recognized uh, member of the conference, um, auxiliary team. And so we are seeking to do all necessary reviews of uh, their submissions so we can um, have them receive an active status within the denomination as, an, as a recognized body. Uh, we are hoping that we can uh, see uh, these endeavors accomplished. And uh, I must highly, I just must hasten to mention that in respect to um, areas that we were seeking to, to explore uh, in terms of our plans for the denomination, I must seek to highlight our 100 year centenary, centenary celebrations that are coming up uh, in the new year. Uh, we will commence in January 2023, where our first uh, our first program will roll out in terms of our uh, launching service that will be held at uh, one of our churches, one of the uh, existing churches that has been uh, established from in the early period. Uh, this, that's the Post Road Church all the way there in uh, Clarendon. We are hoping to have our launching service there, which we will be engaging the general public in that region, and of course, persons will be coming from overseas and uh, from the locality, and uh, we'll be engaging that service. We are hoping it to be a great one. We will also be seeking to lay uh, plaques, a plaque there to commemorate this uh, great achievement of 100 years in the country. Uh, we will also be having our Homecoming Conference uh, in July of 2023. Uh, we're hoping that this will be a tremendous experience as uh, we are hoping to have uh, quite a bit of support from our uh, members who are in the Del Sephora's around. We will be looking forward to coming home to share with us in this experience. Uh, we're hoping that it will be a grand one. Uh, we believe that this, well, we are planning that this, based on the size, may not be held at or made in all 
facility, but at a new facility, at another facility that will be highlighted in short order. There are a number of uh, programs that will be highlighted throughout this period. Uh, there are many of which will be uh, focused through the various auxiliaries who would have pre prepared their calendar for activities to highlight the centenary celebrations and will be bringing to for their creativity as they seek to uh, celebrate in this wise. We are very happy that we are at this point where we can consider uh, that we have been blessed to be uh, surviving for uh, in this uh, country and ministry for a uh, hundred years and we are thanking God for his kindness towards us. It is my hope that this information that I share with you will be of some value as you're able to recognize uh, some of the things that have been done by the Jamaican Conference and how you can be of assistance to us whether through your prayers or through your uh, financial assistance so that uh, many of these programs that I've mentioned can be realized more speedily as the Lord would have impressed upon your hearts to do so. Thank you so much and the Lord bless you.